All right, everybody, we're back, and we're getting ready for the semifinal round from the 2016 X-Wing Regional Championship from Games and Stuff in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I am Aaron Utley, and I'm joined now uh, by top eight player, Frank Forte. Hi, guys. And just push out by whom? Uh, Garrett? By Garrett, yeah, who you're going to be watching in this match. So the guy who beat me is going to be playing in... Uh, in the next match coming up. Nice. So we'll get a little salty. Yeah. Get some salty coverage. Excellent. Exactly. Very good. Okay, so they are setting up now. Let me run down what we're looking at. Gay, uh, Garrett from Hagerstown. He's, uh, of course, uh, from your hobby place out in uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Hosts a lot of fantastic events out there. Garrett's running uh, Zuckus with VI, the Mist Hunter title, so the obligatory tractor beam. That's going to allow him a little bit of repositioning with barrel roll. Which I honestly I, I don't get G ones without it. I, I mean they are rough yeah, without the ability I, to reposition at all. It's kind of like running a B wing um, that can't roll. That can't roll. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you do get the, the nice evade, and you do have a four forward that's not red. So okay. they have a little more leeway. Um, sure. I, I do like to run with a title. Uh, however, on my list. Uh, I don't have the points for it. So, uh, with Garrett's list here, though, he has uh, a pretty accurate Zuckus uh, instead of one that just fires wildly like some of the other ones. Okay. So, he does have Dengar Crew, and Dengar Crew, as you were just explaining to me before we turn the audio back on, uh, sort of a poor man's... Uh, poor man's predator, predator. so uh, in reverse, actually. So, against... Um, uh, unique pilots, you'll get your extra two re-rolls. Against non-uniques, you will get only one. And it should serve him well in this match. In this match where both his opponents are large-based uh, named pilots, right. that will be essentially the equivalent of a target lock for free. Exactly. So he's, uh, he's in good shape there. So he rounds that out with two identical scouts, uh, both with Deadeye, uh, Guidance Chips, Extra Munitions, R4, Agromech, giving him target locks and uh, plasma torpedoes on both. For a while there, we saw a lot of both, uh, but I think plasma torpedoes has been kind of settled in where I see a lot, of more, a lot more of just plasma torpedoes now. Well, the plasma torpedoes are cheaper than the protons, mm -hmm. and they uh, take off the extra shield, which since you see a lot of uh, large-based, uh, heavy-shielded ships nowadays, it really helps out in scouring the shields off them with that primary strike. Mm. If you'll keep track of this for a second, I may go turn that light down a little bit. Alrighty. So it looks like Garrett is lining up for an inline formation to for his first attack run against uh, his opponent. Uh, that should give him a nice alpha strike against uh, the Dengar that is opposing him. Uh, we will see how his opponent positions both of those ships uh, in order to give the best uh, kill box. Now that's better. Yeah, that's crazy. I can just about read Boba Fett. There you go. On a ship base. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's wow. crazy. So that's the, that's what the so, new... So this is my, where my money went. <laughs> this is where, yeah, those of you who were generous enough to kick in for new gear, this is um, the start of, of, of what you pay for. Got a few more bells and whistles coming here soon. Now, Rob, I've seen Rob play twice already, um, this regional, and this is a, a completely different setup than uh, he's run the other two. Both other games he ran, uh, Dengar sort of eased in behind Fett and, and brought them both in together, and this one he split them up completely. I played a similar match. Uh, I'm, I usually run something similar to uh, what Garrett's running, and I played against pretty much this exact uh, list in, I guess, round three or four. Mm -hmm. um, Looks like Rob is running it exactly opposite of what my opponent did uh, in my match. He's pretty much running Dengar uh, as the primary assaulter, mm -hmm. uh, whereas Fett is usually in there first because Fett gets the rerolls at range one. Okay. So um, this should be interesting when they actually engage. And a green maneuver. Uh, he's 
opted to go dampeners there. I assume to keep himself from eating two torpedoes in one round. Yeah, I think he's trying to keep himself right out of range three of both of them. And that's where Fett's coming in. Okay. And as he creeps forward, Dengar's ability, uh, really useful against other jump, jump masters, oddly enough. Exactly. Because he'll return fire. Uh, yeah, the problem Garrett's going to face here is if he does shoot at Dengar, Dengar is going to get that secondary shot. So it's almost doubling his firepower. And he's just out of range three, it looks like. So Fett's going to shoot. Looks like he's got a solid range two shot on range his two. right flank. Okay. And he's not going to use his focus, so just one crit, and it's evaded. But he has gunner. Ah, gunner. So that's going to kick in. That's why he did not modify the dice. And now he's going to. There we go. There you go. Three hits. So three hits, two evades, so one shield off of. Well, I'll just pick one. So the green one, we'll say, is the bottom. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Range two primary, one die into Fett, gets his target lock off of uh, Agramek. He's gonna spin it now. He uh, is. He is. Mm. Just rolls an eyeball. And one of eight. Gets the eight. I think he's got a range three from the second one. Nope, just out. Well, that's his range two. Oh, okay, that's his range two template. Never mind. He's, yeah, he's got range three. Uh, it's obstructed. So one hit. He's going to get the target lock and use it to try and get two. Why not? Who cares? Uh, no help there. So just one hit and a whole rack of dice. <laughs> plenty of evades. Range three obstructed shot into Senor Fett. Really good game uh, last round. Rob faced Joe Snavely. Joe's running a Palpatine FO mini swarm. So three uh, Omega leader, Zeta leader, and Epsilon ace. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a fun game. Yeah, it was, it was different. And uh, that. You know, Epsilon Ace is a PS4, kind of a weird ability, keeps it at PS12. Right, until it takes all damage. It's different. You know, and that came into play right up until the end of the game. So that was novel. So, certainly going to see a green maneuver from Dengar to give him a target lock. As a matter of fact, Rob is the opponent that I faced. Uh, I know because he's written Gunner on his hands, because he forgets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you just keep the keep playing the list till you remember. Because we saw last uh, last games, there's a two bank, the noble two bank, which is the the uh, most noble of maneuvers. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it's not too turny, it's not too straight, mm -hmm. not too long. It's just banky enough. This is a running joke. Two I bank, see. Right? <laughs> it's kind of a little inside. So, um, but. Uh, you know, writing Gunner on your hand there, kind of a two-edged sword. So we were in a position last game where Snavely very easily could have used up all his tokens and avoided all the damage. Yes. But no chances for getting that you got Gunner on Fett when it's written on both your hands. Well, the funny part was that during our match, he actually forgot to Gunner, and then he forgot that I had Gunner. So, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Three straight and a bump. Is the three straight green on the Chum Master? Uh, it is not. Not. It is not. So a little bit of a head scratcher there. Right? Yes, all threes, unless he's running uh, uh, the mech that does that. No. I don't think he is. Punishing one? What does Punishing one do? Uh, punishing is one is the title. The title. Um, he's got K4 security droid, and then well, he's, ability. No, he's taking the target lock. 
Yeah, so he's going. Well, maybe he revealed it too straight, and he just used that to oh. to line it up. Okay. That's probably what happened. Possible. Regardless, that's where he is, and he's got a target lock. <laughs> so that, that's oh, what we'll run with. Okay. Uh, he's running um, K4 security droid. Right, so all greens give him target locks. Right. And Boba Fett focusing pretty straightforward maneuver. This could be a pretty quick game. Yeah, I think uh, I think Dengar is going to be a little bit in trouble oh, right now. So the uh, Dengar intentionally bumps, not wanting to eat that torpedo. That dumb, of course. It's, right. Okay, but he's going to eat the second one. He's going to eat one. So we've got a Dengar primary into the second scale. It's rolled a hit and a crit. It's going to spend the target lock. Reroll that third die for another crit. So a hit and two crits. One's evaded. So it takes two into shields. I'll be on the top one. Yep. What color is that red? Clear this up for everybody. <laughs> And this is Boba Fett's range one shot into the green scout. Gets a set reroll and focuses for four. One of eight, so he takes three into shields. So he's shieldless. Take us to Zuckus, who I'm assuming will take the range two shot into Dengar. Uh, that would be the smart money. Or he could just opt not to fire yeah. at anyone, which would be dumb. Uh, Zuckus is very you know, testy sometimes, so sometimes he doesn't want to fire, especially when he's arguing oh, with the uh, Dengar crew. Did I mark, <laughs> did I mark scouts wrong? Uh, I, I may have. I was in a hurry. Four. No. Zuck is four and four. Yeah. No. Yeah, there, right? Okay. So there's one, so it looks like two go through onto Dengar. That's into Hall. Two shields. What did I do there? So I did botch that so I'll have to go do a check when they go back to dials. Alright. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read it. Sorry, guys, I didn't change. <laughs> okay. I, I forgot to, I forgot to uh, reset it after the last game. <laughs> Sorry about that. So he's taking two? Yeah, okay. All right, what was this? Two more. Two more shit. So that's, no shit. Yeah, sorry about that, fellas. Uh, and a crit goes through, loose stabilizer onto Dengar. And I'll go make sure I got this right here in just a second. Sorry about that mix up. I knew the lists were the same, and the keeping track of the damage is a new thing for me. And this will be the hit, hit, crit into Fett. Yes. Range one from the green. Since they bumped. Right. And that's one of it, so he'll take, uh, he'll get the he one reroll, and he'll take two into shields. Okay. Yep, thank you, sir. Are they back to the house? Yeah, should be. Right, let, me go, let me go double check, I got it right. Yeah, make that right. Dengar's already in dire straits. He's actually two in the hall. Mm. So he's in a little bit of trouble. 
Yeah, that is the problem with the two-ship list. You only have so much health, and you only have so many targets that they're shooting at. If Garrett could take out Dengar on the pass here, he's going to be in really good shape to win this match. Especially since he still has ordinance on both of those jump masters. Mm. Well, we got two torpedoes on the green guy and one remaining on the red. And that's plenty enough to do the job. Yep. Especially since I don't think Zuckus has been hit yet. Looks like a K turn. And you still have the target lock, so I, I think we might see a torpedo into FET. And looking to block with one bank. And to focus. Zuckus with and also one bank. So. so yeah, he's setting up the kill box for Dangar at this point. He's gonna try to block Dangar in there and then get two shots, finish him off. That was a good flick. Three turn. No, nope. that's not gonna make. No, nope. no. Nope. So he's gonna. It's gonna go basically nowhere. Yeah. Bump. And I'm not gonna nope. make it. No, nope. no. Nope. So does he eat a torpedo off green down there? He's got him target locked in the last round. It all depends on what Dangar does. Because really, I would concentrate on finishing Dangar at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess he waits and sees. If he kills him outright, then exactly. sure. Right. If Dangar bumps into uh, the other contracted scout, and he has, and he has, so, right, so he's going to have a oh, range oh, one shot from Zuckus. Sloop? Did he attempt a sloop thinking that Fett was going to be out of the way? Um, can't see the dial. Yeah. Well, we'll see if he throws stress down. No, because that would be why. No stress on the left hand side. Loop. Regardless, there's where he is. <laughs> it was probably just the most noble of maneuvers. The two bank, which is noble, and except, well, now he's got man, he's got the range one from Zuckus. Yeah, he's gonna eat a lot of dice. I think Dengar is cooked. If he survives this, I'll be shocked. Well, Red has no shots, because Red's in contact with both of those guys. Correct. So it looks like Dengar is... Fett does not have Arc on green. No. So he's got his shot on Zuckus. Dengar has a shot, a range one on Zuckus and a range two on green. All right, so what he should probably do at this point is try to eliminate Zuckus before he fires. Otherwise, Dengar has no chance. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to put eight damage on him. Possible. It's a range one, he's and, a range, and a, probably another you know, range two. So. Yeah. So that's two. They both go through, so two shields into Zuckus. Nope, wrong one. It looks like it is a range one. So he's got a range one shot into Zuckus from Fett. Mm, he's going to get two re rolls. Two re rolls for range one. And no, no help there. One crit. That gets through into shields. Looks like Rob's dice hate him today. Now Zuckus. I assume I'm going to lay the wood to Dengar. Yeah. He's going to take a five die shot. It's going to be focused, and he's going to get two re-rolls. And yep. that's five, five in, so that's and that's a dead Dengar. Four hits and a crit. Dengar evades one. One. So it takes four, and he's dead. Oh, Dengar, we hardly knew you. Cool, man. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. Being a good sport. Yeah. 
Well, both of these guys I've had as opponents over the past two days, and they were really good players and really nice guys. They were fun games, and you know that's really all you can ask from an opponent. Well, Rob, I don't know. He's driven down from Sigler, but obviously Garrett, Garrett and him pretty well. Yeah. YHP. Yeah. Actually, you know, I, I played two of the New Jersey guys yesterday, and I got to say that they were some of the most fun guys to play. Uh, You're not the first, not the first guy to tell me that. Yesterday yeah. seemed like a really fun, laid-back tournament. Yeah, and they and were just we, so nice. Uh, the competition was really high level. We had all the most of the best players from Kappa, from the South Jersey group, and from Nova in this tournament. So, oh, just went with the primary. Yeah, interesting. Two crits. Eats them <laughs> both. Wow. Oh, he gets two rerolls. And no help. Still eats them both. <laughs> My goodness. That's dice. Both the remaining shields off that. Yeah, so really laid back, cool tournament. It was cool to see everybody. Cool to see so many of the, the guys from the Jersey, South Jersey Philly group come down. Um, universally what I've heard, that everybody's a lot of fun. Everybody had good games. And that's what you want to hear. Yeah. But yeah, that also means, I mean, top 16 here is, that's a brutal field. You know, yeah. To, that's some really good players. Oh, on the other table is uh, Duncan Howard, and he is playing uh, one of the guys from Jersey I don't know. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, he's playing Nick. He's playing Nick Bell that we saw at the one. Uh, he's running the uh, that uh, pop whisper list that we saw beat the K-Wing list in, in the round of 16. Okay. His grudge match. <laughs> he got flown, his palp shuttle got flown off the board by a Connor yesterday. Ooh, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, Mike Delernia had a really novel uh, K wing list, a couple K wings with Sabine and you know, 10 pieces of ordnance. Yeah, he was supposed to be my, uh, my final opponent. Um, we discussed his list. Uh, after the uh, after the round, mm -hmm. really nice guy, really interesting list, and he really has a lot of practice in on it. Um, the way he lays down the uh, the fire lanes with the uh, with his tokens mm -hmm. is pretty outstanding. Yeah. All right, so there's a sloop from uh, Red. And there's a one turn into a bump for Zuckus. So my guess is what Garrett's trying to do here is make uh, his um, bet bump into Zuckus so that he gets two uh, shots with the Jump Masters. Mm -hmm. um, he'll still get re-rolls, but that's going to be withering fire at range one. Well, and then he can bank those target locks right. for, for torpedo shots. Three bank to the right, and that's what he's that's done. Exactly what he did. Bumped into everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The and important Rob part is that he hits <coughs> Zuckus, hits Zuckus not the scout. instead of the scouts. Right. right. Now, is he range two from green, or is he range one? If he's range two from the green, then he's also probably yeah, going to eat a torpedo shot. Nah, no, he's range one. Well, looks range one to me. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm sure there'll be a measurement. But a couple range one shots against. Yeah, and actionless fat. So it's not only that. That's in a bad place here because really, how does he get out of this? Mm -hmm. uh, well, here goes fat range one into green. Ooh, ooh. three hits and a crit. Two evades. Two evades. So that gives him a hit and a crit. And the crit is what? It was a ship effect. But I missed it. Stress. There you go. 
one of the most forgiving crits. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> essentially indifferent to that. So he's going to take a range one, one shot. Range one primary. He's going to spin his target lock. No, he acquires. This is red. And then he's going to spend. And then he's only going to get two. Oh. I go. What do you get? The re roll. Re rolls. One. So he takes one. Yep. It's going to be death by paper cut here. Yeah. Well, let's just wait for the second one before I change it. So here's the second scout. Range one. Oh. And that's just target, my target lock because they you roll, roll one eyeball. Bad. Yeah. And he whiffs again. Wow. All right. So if that gets through, like that just rolls. one. All right. Back to Doss. Back to Doss. So here's the problem with Fett. Where does he go from here? Because if Garrett just uses the same state, bumps all three of them, Fett goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. And he'll just get ground down at this point. And that would probably be his best move. A little surprised on those primary shots that Garrett chose to use the target locked up. But he could have um, banked him. He could have banked spend them. To torpedoes. Yeah, but at this point, the torpedoes aren't really what's going to do it for him. Mm -hmm. um, he's already into hull, so he doesn't really get the uh, the extra shield from the torps. Mm -hmm. He would get the the, you know, the four dice, but uh, at this point, it's not really critical for him. Just needs to whittle him down with the turrets. That's it. And he has so many more health than uh, just the bet. I mean, you talk about five health. For 12, 14. Right. Would be five. Yes, and Fed can only fire at one target per turn. Oh, stores on, on stream too. That's <laughs> Well, we wouldn't want Jason to get bored. No. Right, so we're placing. Yeah, I didn't see what the dial was that he turned over. That's those little placers that Art of War has made for me for steel. Those are great. Yeah, those things are nice. So it's a sloop. Alrighty. And he's not stressed, so that'll let him go ahead and take an action. Nope. Oh, it's no, not, he's not going to make it. Not going to make it. It's going to be a bump. Okay. Oh, yeah, gosh. I mean, it, yeah, a, a, a two bank is not going to clear that. So it goes nowhere. Right. Which may suit it. Yeah, unless... Uh, I'm going to guess unless... But well, if green reveals a green maneuver, he does. Mm -hmm. A one bank. So he sits where he is as well. Yep. Clears the stress. Yeah, he's going nowhere. Nope. Just checking to see if that actually clears anything, and it does not. So, yeah. That's going nowhere again. So another. So, bump. we're going to get. Right. Bet is going to jump over these guys. Or no, is no he not he's not going yet? anywhere. You're Nobody just, moving. You're just going to throw dice at each other for another couple rounds, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, the only now, way... Fett for... could put Greeny out of business here. And that's what he's trying to do. Yep. He's going to re-roll two. For Ooh. four hits. So, I think he's killed that green scout. Well, oh, two of eights. Yeah. Not quite. So, two go through. Garrett's dice have been phenomenal on defense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so now Fett's in big trouble. What do we got there? Reroll them all. Two hits and a crit. So the. Oh. Uh, and only one goes through, but it's a crit. Console fire. Oh, that's not good. No, it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, so now Fett is going to have to clear those jump masters, otherwise he's just going to be taking damage every turn on top of the shots. 
Now, is there not another shot coming from the red? Uh, the red fired once, and I think he blanked out. There is no, uh, there's no tokens on them anymore. Well, he's got Agromath. Wouldn't that give him a target lock? No, only if he spends a uh, focus. focus, right? right and he right. can't focus in this position. Correct. Okay, thanks. Yes. So I, I've been doing this for two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bob. What's up? You can say hello. Hello. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Bob is here. I don't know your last name, Bob. Beer. Beer? Bob Beer is here. Did you bring any? That's a problem. <laughs> so let's see how uh, how Fett gets out of this. Now, if he does a four straight, that should probably clear. Well, I mean, he's in deep trouble. I don't, I mean. Yeah, the, the problem is, okay, so Garrett's put him in a position where even if he clears, then he's got Zuckus behind him. So he's going to take another four die shot, and well, Garrett can also K turn out of this now. He's not stressed. That's true. With uh, Zuckus anymore, so he can K turn his his G one out. All right, now we're <laughs> yeah, see we're again. Do this again. Well, it's obviously not a two bank. Well, it could be. You never can tell. Three. Okay. So it's a three bank. Three bank is probably going to clear. Uh, he might be trying to save green. Well, he's not stressed either, but... But he's going to take the focus so he can modify dice. Oh, no, green, I mean. So, okay, it's so a one right. turn to the right. So that's also going to clear. And what he probably is going to do is a uh, K-turn with Zuckus. That's my guess. So. Yeah, that so he's going to use green to block. And then K turn with Zuckus, and then Fett is going to take a baseball dice. Zuckus on the left. Nope. Huh. Gonna... I don't know that I would have done that. Is he trying to set up the block again? Continue to block. But you know Fett's not going that direction. No. For that rock? Unless Fett did a turn? I don't know that, that well, clears, though. No, it's a three bank to the right. I don't think he clears yeah, it. Yeah, it's not going over. Inertial dampeners, and he stops. Okay. Yeah. So three holes for days. Well, green's down to one hole. He's yeah, green is he's toast. Time. Console fire. He's rolling for his console. Nope. Yep. So console fire. So here comes Fett into green, which should kill him. I, I mean, I don't understand how. I, I can't imagine he's unless he whiffs entirely. Twice. Oh, well, he's got three three re rolls. And Gunner. And Gunner. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, that's so dead. Three hits, he's dead. He doesn't have that many dice. No. <laughs> rolls him anyway. They all, see how they many, all go uh, through. See how many cards you can throw. Pull out of, out of play. Yeah. So, he's. Greeny's gone. All right, so we're going to get fire from red at range one. And it's going to be modified this time. There we three go. Three hits. And he will acquire the target lock. There we go. Whiffs. Man. Yeah, but he's got that reroll. Yeah. Uh, one. So it takes one more. It takes two more. Two more. Yeah, that is in serious trouble. So still got that console fire. Still got console fire to deal with. Coitons, I believe. Yeah. And fast game, as as expected. Yeah, usually when you have that much ordnance on the board, it's a bloodbath. That's what happened in our game. And we don't have any runners here. We don't have any... Any arc dodging speed, speedy ships. Well, I mean, Fire Spray is fast, yeah. especially with engines, but you know, he's, he's going to have to engage to. Yeah, well, oddly enough. Uh, Did we see the K turn here? I would. Um, if I was him, I would do probably a sloop with the. Uh, with, yeah. Sloop to the right? 
um, to the, the white one. The white one to the left. To the left. And then I would uh, probably K turn Zuckus. And then uh, Vet's going to take a face full of dice. And Zuckus will probably take a couple hits. So it's one turn to the left. Interesting. Probably just trying is to keep green him in range. range. It's green, green to green. the left, right? Everything to the left is green except for threes. And there's focus. Yep. Zuck is still looking to block. <laughs> well, if nothing, Garrett is consistent. And he's, he's going to barrel roll for the big block. Okay, so he's anticipating, I think, a two turn to the right. Or his three bank, which is his signature move at this point, it looks like. It's a three turn. And which May, probably is going to clear. Yeah, it's going to clear. So Zuckus could eat a, eat a bunch of dice for his trouble. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's going to be out of arc. Well, no, maybe he's no, not. He's, he's got that back Right arc. in the rear arc. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Uh, but he's not going to make it. Not going to make it. So he bumps. Looks like it. Well, well done. Yeah. Well done, Garrett. Yeah, that's uh, it's a maneuver that keeps on giving. Stupid Zuckus. Yeah, so what he's not going to have is any shots. Exactly. So, so, so he's a, in real trouble that's now. That's a clutch because, block. Yeah. Because he is shooting at nothing, and he's taking a, a turret shot this turn. Yeah, and Garrett also has a, a target lock and a focus. So. And it's going to be an obstructed shot, so he'll get plenty of dice. I don't see him closing him out unless... No, but he'd chip away and get another hole down again, drop. Death by paper cuts. That's what these uh, scouts do to you if they can't fire their ordnance. And it's only a matter of time before Garrett comes around and is able to fire that ordnance at this point. Oh, <laughs> console fire. Trying to clear the console fire. Blammo. Yes, hooray. Now we take damage. damage. Oh, right, right. It's an action to flip it, and every flip time it. he bounces, he can't take an action. He can't take an action to clear Right. So this could end the game. Yep. He's only got one health left, and he focuses just focused. two. It's not obstructed. Gets to re-roll. He needs this one. one. Nope. And it kills him. Good That's game. Good. So, quick game. And Garrett advances to the final. Well done, Garrett. Usually he's running these tournaments. Now he gets to play in the final. I know. So, well done. And that's it for the semifinal round. Uh, you guys hang in there with us. I mean, we've got power paces going on this other table, so it could run the distance. But we have 40 <laughs> minutes left. Especially since it's Duncan. Yeah, I mean, we have 40 <laughs> minutes left to the end of the round. We've got Duncan and Nick both running Palpatine lists. So I, I don't know when we'll start the final, but I wouldn't say any time before about 10 after 4. So I will uh, check you guys in a little bit. I'm Aaron Utley, and this is... Frank Forte. Frank Forte. We'll uh, catch you guys later. Oh, and as a side note, in between the quarterfinal and semifinal round, Steel TV broke 2,000 subscribers. Excellent. Hooray. Wow. So a little milestone. You are doing what we just that we just had. See, soon you'll be able to quit your day job. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, the hobby costs me money. The day job, not so much. <laughs> All right, see you guys in a bit.